um, you know, DB, you guys tonight, you know, missed a lot of, you know, just easy shots in, inside. What do you think was causing you guys so much, uh, you know, struggles in the paint? Um, they're tall. They're big. They're long. But I think we focus too much on getting the foul instead of just going, to, going up through them and finishing. So we have to do a better job if we want to beat Chicago than finishing our, our paint, point paints. And just how does that, you know, frustration as that continues to happen throughout the game, just how does that kind of frustration um, mountain contribute? I know it happened to me in the first half, but I wasn't really worried about it after I regrouped. Uh, uh, but for everybody else, we're still going to go in there. We're still going to try to get it in there. That's what we, everybody knows we played through the paint. So uh, we just got to do a better job of finishing. Hi, Annie Costable from the Chicago Sun-Times. Kurtz talked a lot about this championship window that you guys have been in. And I wonder how important the response from this collective team um, coming together, pulling together, and responding in game three. Um, how, how much are you guys stressing that after this loss already? Um, you, when, once you start stressing, then they already got you beat. Uh, we just got to go in. We got to adjust. Uh, that's what we have another chance for, to step out on the court and, and try to beat them again. Uh, but I don't think we're stressing about it. We're right there. We were four points, you know, out of this win. So we're going to go back, watch video, uh, have practice, and uh, try, re regroup. We got to make our shots, though, for sure. You can pass it back. Yep. Go ahead. Can you just speak to Natisha's game tonight and how she looked? And then, Natisha, can you also say kind of your thoughts of what was going through your head when you were playing sure. tonight? Okay. <laughs> um, I would just say, you know, they – there's a lot of attention on everybody, and I'm just shooting the shots that I get that I'm open, and they're going in, and uh, we got a game plan, and we just got to execute it. So when we're executing the game plan, everybody's getting touches, everybody's getting shots. Um, yeah, she was aggressive. We told her uh, they not, she's the best shooter on the team. She's the like, best three-point shooter on the team, so if they're not going to guard her, knock it down, uh, make them pay. And uh, she was really aggressive. I, I talked to her before the game, and I was like, be aggressive. Uh, you know they're going to trap you, so uh, get around it, make the pass, get through it. And she did a hell of a job tonight, so she just got to keep it up one more game here at, uh, at our house. And hopefully we can pull out the win. Go ahead, Alexa. Uh, DB, the fourth quarter, there was a little bit of a stalemate there where neither team could really score, and then Chicago went on that run. What was kind of happening there, and um, what did you think either didn't work or wasn't working really? In that I end? don't know. That's a good question. I, I feel like... We were being aggressive. Uh, like we still missed the points in the paint in in the fourth quarter, but uh, neither we, neither one of us were letting each other score. We both was holding down on defense. So I'm proud of my team for that. But uh, we got to put the ball in the basket. Uh, we got to score. We got to score way more than uh, the easy ones. And I think we we don't put ourselves in this situation. Any other questions in the room? Uh, for for both of you, I'm I'm curious. John Paul Jones seemed to struggle to be able to get opportunities after that first quarter. It was, it was one shot uh, in each of the second, third, and fourth. What were they doing defensively, and are there adjustments you guys can make to make sure that J.J. is getting more shot opportunities uh, down the stretch of this uh, game four? Um, I'm, I think we, they were being really aggressive on it. They were doubling on the block, uh, so she was looking for the pass out. It was hard for her to get going. Um, they just, they're really big, they're really long. Uh, even when they sub, they have Stevens coming in and they're just really long in the paint. And when I, they know we want to score in the paint just like they do, so uh, we, were, we were doubling and uh, she kind of struggled tonight, but she'll bounce back. Yeah, I would say the same. Um, JJ is an all-star like many on our team, so she's getting a lot of attention. Um, double team, sometimes it's even three people on her, so um, just putting her in better positions to, to score is what, what we need to do. Lila. Um, just, you know, for both of you guys, just what was the mindset going into this game? You know, Curtis talked about, you know, wanting to get more production from, you know, the guards in the series. Just, you know, you guys and Courtney stepping up in this game. What was the mindset coming into it? Step up. Uh, we knew what we did in Chicago. Uh, not scoring a basket is unacceptable. Um, and then we, we kind of got embarrassed. I feel like last game, game two, they embarrassed us. They just... It was almost like a video. They were moving. We were behind in back doors. We was uh, they were offensive rebound. So we just wanted to play better. We know we can play better. We know we're a better a better group than that. So uh, nothing to prove to anybody. It was just more so to prove to ourselves that we can play better. Uh, Chicago's been really good in, in crunch time throughout the, the season and just across the league. Um, is there anything 
particularly different about their intensity and energy and kind of just mindset at the end of games that has made them so successful? And, and how do you guys kind of try to combat that? That's a good question. I feel like that's a question for them more so than us. But uh, I like like Alexa. What you said? Alexa said neither one of us was scoring in the fourth quarter. We both went on when we were missing, but we were playing great defense. So. Um, I don't know if it's so what kind of ex ex execution they do, but we got to put the ball in the basket in the, in the right time, in the crunch time. Uh, I think we were being aggressive, but we just got to we got to make it. Right, we'll finish it up with Ned. Go ahead. Hello, Dawana. Um, turnover time, obviously a big problem for you guys. Was it more of them just getting you guys sped up too much at times, or was it just y'all just speeding up maybe when you should have just eased a little bit? Um. I think we got a little bit too sped up uh, today. We're playing at home, so you kind of get excited about it a little bit, especially in transition. I think that's where we kind of turned the ball over. It was one stretch. We turned it over like three or four times in a row, and it was all off stops and trying to, you know, get a fast break. So I think in that moment we got to settle down, get the ball in T's hand, and then just run the play instead of just always trying to play so fast.